cassowaries are equipped with huge talons and an ice cold stare. They're like dino birds. They patrol the rainforests like sentinels. But is this reputation as killers really justified? Okay, we've got two birds and I don't think they're necessarily friends. Oh, Ooh, fell over, oh no! Oh my goodness, there's so much going on. <gasps> Wow. Wow. What's crazy is the one that makes the initial attack actually slips on the bitumen track, falls over, doesn't get time to put its arms out. I think that cassowary fights are actually quite rare and a male will prefer to try to intimidate his rival. What you actually saw was sort of an approach that then stopped and it said, I'll take ya. Cassowaries have this reputation for being dangerous. They have incredible claws. They've got three toes, but the toe on the inside has a really long talon. It looks like a curved knife. It's like up to 12 centimeters long. They have the capacity to jump and actually kick downwards and tear with both feet at once. Like that could be fatal. Just nice and quiet and calm. If it doesn't get anything, it'll go away. Holy moly. <laughs> That is terrifying. Just give it your sandwich. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> Got the bread. <laughs> that is an incredible interaction and that family did so well to not panic. There's been about 150 incidents where cassowaries injure or attack humans. And of those, about 75% involve some sort of feeding interaction. There aren't many birds that have been known to actually kill humans. There are cassowaries, ostriches, and there was one rooster. What's sort of ironic about all of this fear around cassowaries is that they're really mostly frugivores, as in they eat the fruit, semi-digest it, walk a couple of kilometers, and then take a huge steaming crap. They basically poop out all of these beautiful seeds into a ready-made compost heap. They spread fruit trees from one end of the forest to the other. It's an incredibly important ecological role. That white bread would probably make them constipated. Just saying. God, they're weird. Look at them. <gasps> Look at those feet. Chicken. Beefy. Okay. I mean, you know wow. Yes, I am handsome. <laughs> Did he just put the window up? <laughs> I would too. Oh, look at those wattles. They're like testicles hanging off its neck. Need some supportive undies for that. Cassowaries are thought to have evolved about 60 million years ago. And one of the things that stands out when you look at them is that cask, their horny mohawk. Looks like your grandfather's toenail. Absolutely disgusting. And inside, it's sort of aerated, almost like polystyrene. And why they have this cask, this little helmet, is sort of up for debate. One theory is that could be sort of like a stack hat, right? For when they were running through the forest. Another theory is that it's about thermoregulation. So that can be getting rid of heat, but also retaining heat. It's like they've got five star energy efficient buildings directly on their head. Whoa, look at that gate. It's really fascinating. Oh, you can see what the cask might be used for there. Cause it's almost like it's actually just deflecting those sticks off the top of its helmet. It's really unusual behavior, I think, to have such a long chase like that. It really shows how much prowess they have as an athlete. As you can see in that video, they are pretty phenomenal runners. Their legs are really, really muscly and they can get up to something like 50 Ks an hour. I mean, they would get a speeding ticket in a school zone. That's how fast they are. An adult cassowary can get up to something like two meters. <laughs> which is taller than me. These are big chooks. Far out. Sounded like a cat that was just about to bring up a furball. Wow, look at that murder turkey. 
Scientists aren't exactly sure how some of this sound is even made, but they're pretty sure that the cassowary is using the internal structure of its body as some sort of amplifier. <coughs> they're sounds that in some ways you would feel rather than hear, because there's elements of this sound that actually go into what we call infrasound, which is lower than our puny human ears can actually handle. So there's elements of the cassowary call that are like 32 hertz. It's one of the lowest vocalizations in the natural world. So they are basically dubstep birds. I can't help but be impressed by these formidable birds. But also you would be excused if you crapped your dax when you came across one in the forest. They are scary. Thanks for watching through to the end. I actually have a podcast for the ABC called What the Duck. It's like I got on a hotline with all of the weirdest stuff that's out there in nature. I'm talking naked mole rats. I'm talking swizzle penises. If you can think about it, then I can put it on my podcast. So head over there and subscribe.